welcome back to Make It With Mod Podge. My name is Kathy Fillion. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm sharing my last Valentine craft of the year, and it's a really fun upcycled and recycled project. I'm making these candy filled jars for Valentine's Day, and these are really cute to set out as some home decor or they're perfect as gifts. Now I'm gonna be giving these as gifts. I'm making a whole bunch more of them, but I just wanna show you how cute these turn out. Look at that. I'm doing some napkin decoupage on the top of the lid. So easy to do. You can take a recycled jar and really create this for any season, but how adorable for Valentine's Day. So go ahead and save up those jars and make sure you clean those lids. I've got a tip in this video to show you how to do it with lemons. All right, let's dive right in. So for this project, small to medium sized jars work best. And I really like to look for jars that have a unique shape to them. Go ahead and wash your jars thoroughly and soak them to remove the labels. If you have stinky lids, here's a little tip. Just use a little lemon on the inside of the lid and that will help remove any odors. We're gonna go ahead and paint the top of our lids with some Folk Art Home Decor chalk. I did two coats on these because my napkin was pretty light. The chalk just works as a primer. It takes away any of those logos, plus it allows for the colors of your napkin to really pop through. We're gonna use Mod Podge in satin to attach our napkin. And as usual, I'm separating those napkin plies and we're only using the top printed ply. Go ahead and cut your napkin down so that it's slightly bigger than the top of your lid. Then we're gonna apply our Mod Podge directly to the top of the lid and make sure you get those sides too. Then you'll just place your little piece of napkin down onto the lid and use your fingers to smooth and rub out any of the wrinkles. In this case, less is more with Mod Podge. The less Mod Podge you use, the less wrinkles you will have. Once your napkin's down, you're gonna be ready to set that aside and let it dry. I like to balance it on an old paint jar or an old bottle of Mod Podge. Once it's dry, after about 20 minutes, you can pick it up and begin to trim away the edges. For this, I'm trimming the edges not exactly at the edge, but I'm giving a little bit extra overhang. Once it's trimmed away, then you can use Mod Podge to glue that or to secure it wrapped around that inner lip. That way, when it's attached to your jar, you will just see napkin going all the way through. Then you can top coat the whole thing with a thin coat of Mod Podge, and that will just help seal it down. Now's the fun part. Let's go ahead and fill these jars with all sorts of Valentine candy treats. Now let's add some finishing touches. I'm using some heart felt stickers for the tops and just a little baker's twine around the rim of the jar. But you can add anything to this. You could even add little name tags, whatever you want. And I filled these with candies, but you can fill them with so many different things. Just have fun with this upcycling Valentine project. How cute are these? I hope that you're planning to make some of these, whether it be for Valentine's Day or any holiday. You could also do this for your own home decor, mix up those napkins, create containers for your bathroom, your kitchen, your office supplies, craft supplies, endless ideas. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'll be back here next week with another fun idea to share with you. And until then, have a great crafty week.